You can deny all the things I've seen, all the things I've discovered, but not for much longer. Because too many others know what's happening out there. And no one, no government agency has jurisdiction over the truth. Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. It's a special evening episode today, guys, because, well, I kind of forgot to film before it got dark outside, so I'm using kind of weird light today. So thank you so much for joining today, and uh, we've got some crazy stuff to go over today. Monster news from Stradman, huge news from uh, a special YouTuber that got engaged, and uh, we got some crazy stuff from DDE Dave, too. Get ready, guys. Let's go. And before we jump into our main story today, guys, uh, a huge... Huge reminder, uh, we are giving away a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One to one of you lucky subs out there when we hit 160,000 subs, which holy cow, we've been doing over a thousand subs a day. It's gonna be any day now. All you have to do is sub, and when we hit 160,000 subs, I'll pick from the comments for that day, and we'll give you guys a PS4 or an Xbox One. That's all you gotta do. Wanna get back to the community? Let's move on to our main story. All right, guys, our first story for today is, uh, well, I, I kinda got punked, and everybody that sent me tips also got punked by DDE Dave. By the way, all in good fun. Obviously, he knows that we like to peruse different clues on Instagram and YouTube to try to find out, you know, the next cars they're going to be buying. And Dave decided to take advantage of that by a little bit. And, uh, well, he, he got us all good, guys. So here's what happened. Uh, Dave, in his Instagram bio a couple weeks ago, decided to put uh, an ominous car of 2016 and a bunch of, uh, basically, asterisks afterward to kind of get us all thinking about what the, the possible letter combinations and numbers that could be in that particular uh, unnamed car could be. Uh, we did a whole episode on it. We were very excited to find out, was it a Mercedes G-Wagon? Was it like an Aventador? You know, something crazy like that. Everybody was working overtime trying to figure it out. And uh, well, yesterday morning, I decided to look back and see if anything had changed. And well, I, he, he got us guys. He actually put down in that little section that we had all been so focused on, got you. Palos. What can I say guys? He got us pretty good. Now I don't know if that means we're gonna have an actual uh, delay on the next supercar they're going to be getting. We're still waiting for the two V12s they promised us a couple months ago. I'm not sure if that's still happening but congratulations Dave. You got us all. What can I say? I I'll be a good sport about it. Well well played sir. Our next story is a lot of fun guys. Uh, it has to do with Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford. Uh, if you've been watching their channels respectively over the past couple of weeks and months uh, you notice they've been kind of hanging out a lot together, just sort of doing a lot of fun videos. The Tesla announcement, an upcoming McLaren 720 announcement, obviously teased on Instagram. Lots of cool things they've been doing together. And, and we got a pretty crazy, I don't want to say it's a clue because I definitely haven't verified any of this. Uh, it's all fun speculation because I think it's cool to think about the prospect of two major automotive YouTubers sort of uh, dating, I guess. So here's why we're talking about it. Uh, a couple of days ago, Amelia Hartford posted uh, another video that her and Alex Joy did together and in the comments section literally said power couple 2019 everybody started losing their minds everybody started tagging me right away even a couple people saying that they've been dating for a couple months already and just sort of kept it on the DL uh, I don't really know guys I mean obviously they do a lot of videos together and Amelia sent a very very heartwarming birthday post a couple months ago when Alex Joy had his birthday uh, talking about how great their friendship was all sorts of fun stuff like that uh, I don't know guys are we gonna see some sort of powerhouse automotive YouTube YouTuber couple between Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford, or is it all just fun craziness that she's trying to get us to talk about, similar to what Dave did a couple days ago? Let me know in the comments what you think. Are Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford together, or is it all just a fun ploy to get us chatty? Let us know. All right, guys, you're gonna have to check out Stradman's latest video. I'm actually pretty pumped about this. We actually guessed the car right, his new Ferrari. Uh, it could still mean like a 458 or a 488. I don't think it's one of those. I still think it could be a 430, or maybe it's like a challenge car on top of it. The only reason why we guessed right is because he gave us a clue that no one had guessed it correctly thus far. So we uh, kind of added on to our current answer, which at the time was a Ferrari 430. After he told us all that we were wrong, we modified our version to be a Ferrari 430 challenge car as a possibility. And surprise guys, a 
couple hours ago, he announced that that is indeed his new Ferrari supercar and all the crazy stuff he's thinking about doing with it. Go watch the video. Uh, it's so cool for him to finally have a Ferrari on the channel. I can only imagine this is going to blow his channel up even crazier. Go check it out, guys. Stradman's new car is the Ferrari 430 Challenge Edition. Next on our list today is actually B is for Build, and this is such an incredible story, guys. Uh, obviously, if you've been watching B is for Build for a long time, you know that he's been working on his LS swapped Huracan, the manual version for SEMA for a long, long time now. But during this time, he talked about something even greater that he was working on, and it actually ends up being that he was getting ready to propose to his girlfriend. They are now engaged. Such an incredible thing. Big congrats, man. If you're watching this, uh, we're so happy for you that you found the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Go check out B is for Build. Make sure to give him a congratulations on Instagram. Awesome guy. I've had the pleasure of chatting with him a couple times, and I'm so happy for his future. And because it's Sunday, guys, we're going to have to call it a little bit short earlier, but the last thing I'm going to leave you with is a little bit of a montage from Cars with Luke on the Audi TT Roadster, the 2019 edition. Uh, go check it out, guys. Cars with Luke, one of my favorite cinematographers of all time. We'll, uh, we'll leave you with a little bit of a fun note before we close out the day. So uh, here's a couple seconds of his incredible cinematic montage that he just put up. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. A little bit of a shorter episode, but it's Sunday. What can I say? We'll have some crazy stuff coming this week. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, that's all I got, guys. Have a fantastic day. We'll catch you later, and bye-bye.